Yo, what's happening all you cute FC26 players? Today I'll be showing you the ultimate AMD settings to get buttery smooth gameplay in FC26. We're gonna be tweaking Windows, the game itself, as well as AMD software known as the Adrenaline Software. So we are able to squeeze every drop of FPS out of your GPU. If you enjoy performance tuning guides like this, as well as FC26 and tech content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel, boys. 10k before December. So lads, we're gonna start with step number one and we're gonna start first with the Windows optimizations. So obviously in every optimization video, number one, make Make sure that Windows 10 or Windows 11 is updated. Now, as we're going to settings here, boys, I do recommend something to you lads, and that is to upgrade to Windows 11 as soon as possible, because in October, Windows 10 will be outdated, no longer in support. So when you're in the menu here at Windows 11, what you're going to want to do is go right down to Windows updates, check for updates, even though it says you might be updated lads make sure you check for updates and as you can see i am fully updated that's not where this stops however because we're going to be running fc26 in a borderless window which is best for games in a borderless window which is actually best for running games let me show you the next setting that you lads need to do so we're going to go back to the home in settings and then we're going to look for display settings which if you didn't know is right over here now as you can see i have two monitors connected obviously my vertical monitor and then my main monitor make sure to select your main monitor and when you are here scroll all the way down until you see graphics which should be somewhere over yeah, we're looking for a specific setting and it's always right above everything else. It's called optimization for windowed games. And if we look for it over here, it should be on top right over here. There we go, boys. Make sure that is enabled because when you run your game in borderless window, as I said, this is going to make sure the optimization does its best work at reducing latency. And it also wouldn't hurt you lads to click on this button and make sure that this over here is activated one last thing while you're there lads one thing i always do is get the max hertz out of my monitor so i can get the max fps that i can possibly get and the way to do that is to go back to where we were in display settings but this time we're not going into graphics we're going into advanced display again make sure you are on your main monitor when you are selecting this once you're on your main monitor you're going to want to go down and the max hertz my monitor can go to is 180 hertz so I can play up to a lot of FPS, let's just say that. So always make sure that it's on the max, but know this one thing lads, the higher you put your hertz, the more electricity usage you'll be at basically. So your power consumption would be very high. We are done with Windows optimization now. We can go ahead and close this and we'll be opening the adrenaline software for amd and this is what the adrenaline software looks like basically if you don't know where it is all you're going to do is click your windows button and put in amd the first one should come up if you don't have this google amd adrenaline adrenaline software and then go ahead and install it the number one thing that you want to do when you open up your adrenaline software is to make sure that all your drivers are up to date your gpu as well as your cpu if you have an amd cpu and you can do that over here having a look right above here where my webcam is unfortunately you can't see it but it does say up to date let me move it so you can basically see it that's that's what it says this is what it will say up to date. The next thing you want to do is make sure that everything is set on your PC for max performance. And how you want to do that oh, and how you want to do, do that with adrenaline is basically going to gaming. And then you'll have a look at this here, right? You'll probably see FC26. If not, you can go ahead and select EA. But what I always do first is go to graphics. Make sure graphics is always set on performance. So here you have different options. If you want to tweak with it, you have quality. So your game can look absolutely wonderful. You have Hyper X Pro, whatever that is. I'm guessing that's for power consumption. And then you have default. What I always run is performance because I want the max FPS in the game 
game I can possibly get right below it we have you'll see your GPU settings here right you'll see GPU and you can see all your other graphics options you have Radeon super resolution you also have the sharpen effect as well as AMD fluid motion effects and Radeon anti lag make sure anti lag is enabled this is going to reduce your input delay drastically if you are on amd hardware and this is another tip always put vsync off unless you see the screen is staring how do i explain this basically when you're playing a game like fortnite or call of duty and you have your view and you turn and keep turning like this you'll see the screen splits just a little bit to catch up to each other like that if you see that then you are going to need vsync on but if you do not see that do not play with vsync on nor do you play with g-sync on and now that we are done with the amd software we're heading over to the game itself so we can configure the settings there and lads before we continue with the video in the game settings i just wanted to show you this box over here this was my fc 26 care package made for me by caitlin most of you guys would know her on the channel already i have so much good stuff in here getting ready for fc 25 so much drinks so much snacks built on if you south african you know if you lads want to see all my snacks that i got make sure to check out her page on tiktok where she put this entire basket together was that fine oh my word i did not mean fc 25 i meant fc 26 back to the video so lads the best settings in the game itself first what we want to do is go over to the graphics settings before we get to graphics actually let's go to display settings make sure you have your main monitor selected again the monitor we just tweaked in the window settings here you have two options two very very good options and it's either you're gonna go full screen or you're gonna go borderless remember we set up optimization for for windowed games so running in borderless is going to be running in a window but just a borderless window so it looks like it's full screen so it will get all that optimizations and everything to look good so if you want my personal opinion run borderless lads run borderless and things should run great your resolution should be the size of your screen whether you know you have a 1080p screen run that if you have a 2k screen run that if you have a 4k screen run that it should be native even if it's 1440 it should be native too and what i mean by native is if it if your screen is this you run this you don't do any other resolutions but what your screen is frame rate you want to match it as well so as you can see yeah i mean 180 hertz so my frame rate can go all the way up to 180 or actually 240 i can play in i'll be able to play in 240 fps and like i said lads vsync needs to be off i won't see any any tearing over here so i make sure that my vsync is always off you can take it one step further and see how much fps you can actually squeeze out of your pc by going from 240 fps to unlimited fps and we'll see how much i can get i probably got about 250 max the last time i played it was between 230 and 250 lads cutscene performance is always at half the frame rate so if i'm running unlimited right now and let's say it gets about 200 cutscene performance the rate is going to be 100 fps so choose wisely and go half frame rate let's move to graphics now lads the preset that i use is going to be medium the preset that most pros use are going to be medium be honest with yourself lads if you have a bad pc then run this at low and if you have a good pc run this at medium because there's no need to go high unless you're playing like this man you're gonna go for your crowd quality your crowd quality is going to be low on this make sure to follow me your graphics preset should change when you change this from medium all the way to custom yeah as you can see i was right actually hey man it just proves that i know what i'm talking about grass lighting and motion blur you want to turn off motion blur is off this lads i don't know if you want to turn this off or on i like having this on because i like having the feel of the game so i i leave this on but i leave it on medium if you lads are struggling to run the game properly turn this 
off. We're going back to display now because we're going to be looking at rendering quality. If you played Fortnite, you know about Fortnite's rendering quality, where if you set it high, the characters have a high resolution. When you set it low, they look so mushy and pixelated. This is exactly the same. So this I want to leave up to you to decide because for me, what I found is that 90 is perfect for me. I can see perfectly on my monitor. Even when I'm playing on a TV, I can see perfectly lads. So 90 is like kind of my sweet spot. I do have dynamic resolution scaling on. What this does is basically helps my GPU to keep up the FPS and I've set it to 60 FPS so my CPU doesn't overwork itself. Yes, I do have the 5600G um, Ryzen 5 and I do have internal an internal GPU or internal graphics as I was going to say. I know that might be a bit too much for you lads to understand, especially if you were a little, little lad little lad you won't be able to understand so i just wanted to keep things simple and i mean with the settings guys first go into a kickoff match don't take the settings and run straight to a rivals match to a champs match and you lose and you blame me and you dislike this video no don't do that instead go to kickoff play with it and actually see that hey this is amazing i'm going to subscribe i'm going to like